the continent of Asia is the biggest continent in the world. Out of the total land area of the earth, about 33% is occupied by this continent. The continent derives its name Asia from the word Asu which indicates the direction in which the sun rises. Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world, is in this continent and the lowest point on land also lies in this continent. The place with the highest rainfall is located in Asia. Many ancient civilizations as well as many of the major religions of the world originated in this continent. We see a lot of diversity in the landforms, climates, rivers, plants, animals and even human life in this continent. Let us begin with the study of extent and boundaries of Asia. This continent extends from 10 degrees south to 81 degrees north latitudes and from 26 degrees east to 170 degrees west longitudes. The Arctic Ocean in the north, the Pacific Ocean in the east and the Indian Ocean to the south define the boundaries of this continent. The western boundary is completed on the land and mainly passes through the Ural Mountains. This boundary adjoins the continent of Europe. Physical Features of Asia Mountains Many mountain ranges starting from the Pamir Plateau in Central Asia spreads in different directions. The Himalaya and Karakoram range spread towards the southeast from the Pamirs. The Kunlun mountain range spreads to the east of Pamir. Tenshan mountain is to the northeast of Pamir. This range spreads up to the far east of Asia. The Hindu Kush and Suleiman ranges spreading to the west of the Pamirs stretch up to Turkey and are known by different names there. Find out about the other mountain ranges by looking at the figure. Plateaus There are vast plateaus between different mountain ranges. The Tibet Plateau lies between the Himalayas and Kunlun. As this plateau is the highest in the world, it is called the Roof of the World. Besides this, the Deccan Plateau in the Indian subcontinent, the Yunnan Plateau in China, the Central Siberian Plateau in Russia and the Arabian Plateau to the west are some of the main plateaus. Deserts A vast desert formed in different parts of the continent is also a special feature of Asia. Rabal Khali in the Arabian Plateau, Thar or Great Indian Desert in the Indian subcontinent, Gobi and Taklamakan deserts in China and Karkum Desert in Turkmenistan occupy a large part of the continent. Peninsula There are many peninsulas towards the south in this continent. The important peninsulas are those of Saudi Arabia, India, Malaysia, etc. The Kamchatka Peninsula is in the northeast of the continent. Islands Japan, Indonesia, Philippines, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Andaman Nicoba, etc. are the islands in the continent of Asia. These islands are either the tops of mountain ranges submerged in the sea or volcanic or coral islands. The central part of most of these islands is mountainous and there are plains to some extent in their coastal regions. Let us study about rivers in detail. There are many rivers flowing in different directions from the central mountainous region. They are classified as follows. Rivers meeting the Arctic Ocean. The rivers Ob, Yenisei and Lena in the north of the continent are included in this group. In winter, the water near their mouths freezes and obstructs their flow. Hence, a marshy area is formed in their valleys. Rivers meeting the Pacific Ocean. Among these, Huanghe, Yangtze and Mekong are the main rivers. The word Huanghe means yellow in Chinese. 
This river brings the yellow colored loess soil with it on a large scale. That is why it is called Huang He. Yangtze is the longest river in China. Mekong is an important river in Southeast Asia. Rivers meeting the Indian Ocean. In the Indian subcontinent, Indus, Narmada, Tapi are the rivers that meet the Arabian Sea, whereas the Ganga, Brahmaputra, Godavari, Krishna and the Iravati in Myanmar meet the Bay of Bengal. The rivers Tigris and Euphrates from Iraq meet the Persian Gulf. The Red Sea, the Persian Gulf, the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal are all parts of the Indian Ocean. Rivers in the interior of the continent. Besides the rivers meeting the various oceans, there are rivers in the continent that meet the landlocked seas or disappear. They do not meet any ocean. They include the Sir Darya and Amu Darya rivers that meet the Aral Sea and the Helmand that disappears on the plateau of Iran. Now we shall study the climate of Asia. Its expanse in the torrid, temperate and frigid zones, proximity to the oceans, vast continents, the central mountain ranges have all influenced the climate of Asia. Hence, there is a lot of diversity in the climate of this continent. As the interior of the continent is far away from the sea, summers are very hot and winters are very cold there, which means that the climate in this region is extreme. As the northern part of Asia is very near the North Pole, the temperature there is very low. The temperature in January at Verkhoyangs, where the minimum temperature in the world is recorded, is as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, Jakobabad in Pakistan records the maximum temperature 55 degrees Celsius in the world. It rains mostly in summer in the continent of Asia. The distribution of rainfall is also very uneven. Monsoon type climate is found in the Indian subcontinent, South China and Japan. In some of the areas of these regions, it rains more than 2000 millimeters. The highest rainfall in the world is at Mosinram in India. Except South and Southeast Asia and to some extent East Asia, the average annual rainfall in the other regions is less than 500 millimeters.